Welcome back to our Bluesy Water channel, everybody. Today I have Gavin Christopher with us. Gavin's from Antigua and a very well-known musician on the, on the islands. He's a keyboard player, and um, I'm just going to ask you to introduce yourself and tell the audience a little about who you are, what you do. Hi, Andrew. Hi, listening audience. Um, well, I'm, my name is, as you said, Gavin Christopher. I am a musician. I'm from Antigua. And um, I've been touring extensively for years, up and down the world, playing music and being an, 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 um, an ambassador for Caribbean music. Um, in 2017, I started to feel symptoms of the condition that I, I was diagnosed with, which is myasthenia gravis. In 2017, I noticed a, a couple of things. I noticed that my energy and strength was cut tremendously. I also noticed that my vision was being tremendously affected. I was seeing double and also my my right eye would would close actually close i i had great difficulty keeping it open i'd struggle i'd have to you know really struggle to keep it open and um i went i did a lot of stuff my the anxiety was to the roof i didn't know what was happening so i um <clears throat> I, I, I i you know i went the conventional road they did the, the the medications and um, also I did a lot of um, I did you know the med the, 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 the medical role the, the conventional role but it and it paid some dividends but it wasn't really healing me I was coping I was coping with it but I can I ask you how they figured out the uh, how they come up with the diagnosis blood work Actually, no, um, because all the blood work came back negative. And um, I actually went to Miami and did a, 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 I got a second opinion in Miami. And he did, the neurologist there did some muscle testing. And that was what really convinced him that, you know, made him say yes to the second opinion that this was what he thought it was. It was a, a rare autoimmune disease called myasthenia gravis that affects your, your involuntary muscles. So um, it, it affected my, my vision tremendously. It, it, it gave me brain fog. It also gave me um, a very, very low energy and loss of strength. And that's when I, 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 went, I, I went searching. I went searching because I was, it, it felt to me like a death sentence, you know, like um, them saying to me that I could never heal and I would have to stay on the medication for the rest of my life, which really was a death sentence to me. You know, I had to stop working the way I did. I had to really cut back tremendously. So I got into meditation. I got into a more organic way of eating. I, I went more on a plant-based diet, which helped me tremendously. But I think, but I've done I've done other mod modalities through you, Andrew, and you know a friend of mine here, that to me would have tipped the scale on the other edge. So I just want to say, you know, with everybody who contacts me, the goal is there's an old saying, you know, you can give a man a fish, but teach him how to fish, and elite for a lifetime. And in simple terms, we're really trying to help people set up a functional home clinical environment. And I guess most of us haven't thought along those lines that we could set up our own therapies. And they're, they're, by the way, go way beyond just a specific issue. They're like global in nature. So this is a chart of some of the things that Gavin has already incorporated and, and is going to uh, incorporate of therapies he's done. So on this chart, he's doing the breathing practice, the bluesy water, uh, he's doing this homeopathic protocol, ozone therapy, 
EMF therapy with grounding, and he's just about to start the molecular hydrogen therapy, and he also has a vibration machine. So he's come a long ways in building up a, a functional home practice. And, you know, Gavin, you're a musician. You understand that it takes practice to become good at anything. So the body is an instrument. I always say the body's like a musical instrument. You got to practice to achieve health. And we also do an overview at the beginning of this chart about the, the three critical areas that affect health. And number two, the idea of energy flow is it's like a musical instrument. If the instrument's out of tune, if the neck is warped, let's say you play a guitar, the strings are out of tune, you know what, you can't expect to have any music coming out of that instrument. So essentially the idea of energy flow is a very vital concept in Chinese medicine, but the average person really doesn't know about energy flow. Would you speak to, um, I mean, what have you started to gleam in doing these practices? You saw the chart and you're, you know, what, what, um, how, what do they mean to you, the practices? What's your own vision of what you're doing, why you're doing it? Well, I mean, the reason the reason I do it, Andrew, every day, the reason I have gone this deep into, you know, homeopathic remedies is that I under I understand clearly, especially after speaking to you about how the body operates and, the, and the, how the body functions, and and the the, the 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 fact that the body is like an instrument and um, the body has to be tuned naturally. And I really, I understood that when I actually did work with you that I could see that going the homeopathic route would have been my better option. So when I actually do the protocols, like when I do the Lebecki protocol, like you put me onto or ozone, or even um, when I do um, the vibration machine, I actually f could feel energetic shift in my body every time sometimes it doesn't last for the entire day but i could feel um clarity especially in brain fog i could feel like the clarity being removed i could feel like an energy shift it's very difficult to explain because unless you don't feel it it's it's really um difficult right. to explain it to 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 the to the wider audience if they've never experienced it but i know what i feel when i've when i've done it i mean especially grounding grounding and sleeping on the pmf mats i spent a, quite a bit of money in collecting and, and and having um the right um i would say gadgets <laughs> to help me or to aid me in my quest to heal myself so I know when I, especially when I use the PMF mat and the grounding, I could feel, I wake up with a lot more energy. I'm clearer throughout the day. I, my brain fog decreases so much. My, in, in a, by grounding myself in two weeks of just everyday grounding, my eyes open to the point that I don't need to wear the patch anymore. You know, I used to walk around and I used to be walking around it with a patch over my eyes, looking like a pirate. And I mean, it was, it was, it was difficult to deal with because especially in my line of work where I'm on stage all the time, I'm wearing this patch, people on stage in the audience asking me, what's going on, what's that? You know, I'm playing and I'm like, I'm okay, I'm okay. It was very difficult because, because it was like, um, very noticeable but I know that working with a holistic approach has helped me to know be able to function without it and that for me was a, a milestone because I thought at some point that this was my life for the rest of what I would know it to be. Now I just want to respond to two things Gavin said here let's go back to this chart Okay, so you mentioned how this PMF right here, PMF therapy with earthing, earthing is what the uh, 
it's kind of the gadget you use to, to basically ground yourself while you're sleeping. You can ground your body to, to the earth. You can go, click on this, Google earthing, and it'll explain. It's very simple. If you were to sleep on the ground, you'd be grounded, but you, obviously in a bed, you're not on the ground. So this creates a, an electrical connection between you. It's a, a material that is conductive that goes to a, a wire that then goes to the ground of your house. So essentially you are grounded. Um, so he had a breakthrough with this therapy. This is a very powerful combination. It's something I came across recently and I do want to show uh, we have these videos here. Um, PMF therapy and earthing match made in heaven. This is uh, the main company that sells a lot of PMF um, mats and I just wanted to address that community and also go over kind of the the argument that goes on in the PMF community. It's really important if you want to learn about PMF to watch this video particularly. And then if you have a lot of trouble sleeping, you're nervous, you're anxious, you can't really rest deeply, you've had anxiety your whole life, whatever. Musician lifestyle, for instance, can be very difficult. I was one for years. Get to bed three in the morning, can't sleep. You, you, you sleep four hours, you wound up. You never, you know, your, nerve, your uh, adrenal system's up and down. So anyhow, the, watch these three videos. But I want to get back to the chart. He said, well, that really, you know, is where he had a great breakthrough. Um, all these therapies have a purpose. That's why we created the chart. So we, we have all these basic columns of the major core issues that somebody might be looking at. Systemic means you've been given a disease name of any kind. Energetic structural just means anything, your lower back, your neck, body aches and pains ma mainly. Now, being a body worker, we, I understand that the Chinese medicine system, the energy body definitely affects the treatment of the structural body. Environmental toxins, very straightforward, all the heavy metals, the chemicals, the GMOs, the, the Wi-Fi, everything, you name it. Subconscious programs, we, Gavin and I have talked about this a lot, the idea of these literal like viruses in your mind, these memories that won't go away, that eat at you and cause the body to react. And we have detoxification, which is all, it includes environmental toxins, plus the colon is a big one in, in terms of colon can get very stagnant and back and, and not function properly. So we have tons of videos, that, you know, addressing all these issues, but we kind of link these, each therapy you know, you can look at it and see what it's about. What I'm, the point I'm trying to make is that all these therapies have their place. And depending on what you're going through, at one time, maybe the PMF therapy with earthing is like, it's a very powerful thing, but is it end all be all? No. I was telling Gavin I had the flu the other day and I kicked, I hardly do this, but I did it twice yesterday and it just knocked the flu out. It's amazing when you need it, ozone therapy. And if you're really sick and have a lot of pathogens, viruses, you know, you have a long-term viral infection, this is a must therapy. So it's important to get to know these tools and what they're about. And, you know, you'll need them sometimes. If you don't have a lot of anxiety, you're young, you might not need PMF therapy with early quite the same. Let's say you have a massive infection or you pull, you know, you're an athlete and you screwed up your body, then you're going to be looking more at vibration therapy, rapid release, and, uh, a more structural, you look down the structural chart for an injury, you, you know, let's say you're an athlete and you screwed up your Achilles tendon, you broke a bone. Let's say you just moved from the country to the big city and you're getting sick all of a sudden, you're going to look at this environmental toxic toxin chart. So everybody's got something and these all play, you know, they everything plays into everything. So um, Gavin is doing the detox. We at one time, didn't we, weren't you, remember you were kind of thinking we, we did a test on you and you were working on heavy metals in the body and you had a lot of Herxheimer. Remember that? Mm -hmm. I remember that earlier yeah. this year. That was earlier in the year. Yeah. Yeah, you're going through a lot of heavy metal Herxheimer. Herxheimer is like a detox reaction when you started. Well, I, yeah, it, 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 I mean, I, I felt sick for, for, for months. Right, so when the, body, right, when the body is accumulating mercury or, or whatever the metal is or a chemical, let's say you've been exposed to chemicals your whole life, you see on TV all these lawsuits about Roundup. 
uh, you're trying to get that out of your body, it's going to go through some changes as it tries to detox, and, and it's important to know how to detox. Yeah, I remember I remember calling you and saying, Andrew, I feel really sick. And you're telling me, go through it. It's going to, it's going to, you're going to come out. A but we slowed it down, remember, too. Yeah, yes, yes. We yes, slow yes, down yes. the rate. So when you, now again, if you are trying to detox, let's say, where there's a chart there on the detox we showed you, then you want to have a multifaceted toolkit to not only get the toxins out of you, but how to get less Herxheimer. And so this is why you put together this home clinic. So if you're focused on detox, you use a certain set of tools. If you're focused on more emotional trauma, you start to really understand all these tools and how they work together. Nothing separate from one another, by the way. They all integrate. It's all, it's all, it's, it all comes together holistically. Right. Wanted to mention the PMF. Uh, back to that again. Well... I must say that for me, when I started to use the PMF machines, I, I used to feel very wired for a while until I got accustomed to it. And then you were able to to um, to walk me through the, the, the settings and to, um, to tweak the ones that would have given me um, the ability to sleep because I was having a lot of sleep issues. Um, but I found after you, you, you really explained to me, um, well, your breakthrough also with grounding and the PMF at the same time. I thought that was really a uh, um, fascinating situation. Right. And um, that really turned the corner in the short period of time with your eye. The patch came off, what, three weeks ago, two weeks ago? Yeah, 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 three weeks ago. I want to just, yeah, let's just review that therapy. Um, the PEMF pumps the cells. It goes right through you. So if you have, let's say, a damaged cell deep in your brain or your liver or somewhere, it's going to go right through you and pump the cell. That's the beauty of that therapy. Vibration machine, it's great. But unless you have a tremendous amount of G-force, in other words, it's very, very intense, it's hard to get all the way in. And it's not going to stay consistent in the wave when it goes in, it's gonna break up the wave. The PMF, the wave stays constant. If you set it at Schumann, let's say 7.83, it's gonna be at 7, 8.3 down in the core of your body. It goes right through you like an x-ray. The mm -hmm. other thing is now the key with the grounding is that as you do this pumping action on the microcellular level, there is an excess of energy that builds up and the grounding of the earthing discharges the extra energy and then the therapy can be cranked up, you can profoundly, literally micro-exercise every cell, get it, get it to dump its toxins, receive new energy, and take care of any byproduct feel buildup, the electrical sideband well, energy. That, that, that buildup, Andrew, that buildup was what was causing me to, um, to stay right. waste. And by the way, I mean, PMS has been around for 30 something years, and I'm really astounded that you know, nobody actually figured out that they needed to ground the PMF therapy, but earthing has been around about 10 years. It's kind of not that well known to ground the body. In other words, the uh, earthing company made it popular. Um, but everyone, you know, who works with electronic parts knows you got to ground the body when you're working with electronic parts. So it's, the way they rectified the this problem was to sell very low intensity PMS systems. The Beamer is like a half a gauss. It hardly has any power. But when you're yeah. trying to really heal, you need more power, but then if there's no way to discharge the energy, it backs up. So now you can actually increase the power of the therapy and discharge the energy. So you get a, the analogy I use, instead of putting out a piddly stream, you can now have like a vital streaming feel, like a mountain stream, before, if you don't use the grounding, it's like putting a dam on the mountain stream. So now you turn down the stream so low, but then if you turn the stream way back, you don't have that much therapy. This has been the big argument in PMF. They've been, they cut back the stream, which essentially reduces the therapeutic uh, benefits. Yeah. Now you can choose how strong you want your mountain stream coming at you. You might want to be in a little piddly stream or you might want to be in a big stream. But I'll tell you one thing, when you go to stronger Gauss 
the system that Gavin has goes like between 50 and 100 Gauss. That's that's a strong Gauss field. Um, mm. The Beamer is a half a Gauss. The system I have can go up to higher Gauss, but I can knock it all the way back to very low if I want. I have the control. So I want anybody who's understanding this therapy to understand that by doing the two together, you can create a very dynamic field at the microcellular level. This is why we've both been noticing how amazing it is. And your eyes look great. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew, I mean, three weeks ago, I literally couldn't open this eye. Three weeks ago. Right. And now it's, uh, it's there. <laughs> Now, I've been a musician since my 20s, and I joke, when I started this therapy, it, it so ill-trained my sleep cycle. I went to bed three, four, five in the morning, all jacked up, that I literally developed sort of a permanent inability to, you know, I just wound up, plus I had my own anxiety issues going way back. Then you get older and you don't sleep as well when you get older. It's amazing. I started this therapy mid-October. I, I joke around. It's the first time I've, I've actually really, really, truly, deeply slept since I, for 40 years. Maybe since I was a baby. So oh. it, it puts the body into very deep, deep processing sleep what, cycle. What, what I do notice, Andrew, what I notice, as you're saying there, when, I, when I'm sleeping grounded on the mat, I don't, my sleep, it's, I don't think I'm sleeping longer. Even with shorter um, rest, I still feel much more rested than when I would sleep without it for longer periods. So I could do five hours or six hours of sleep and feel much rested than if I did eight or nine hours without it. And even when I wake up in the night to use the restroom or whatever, I get back to sleep a lot easier. Correct. Same here. Yeah. Now I'm older, so I need a bigger sledgehammer sometimes. So maybe I'm, <laughs> I'm cranking up my PMF. Uh, you know, this is a vicious cycle. If you have anxiety, trauma, then you have all this electromagnetic crap floating around you. You don't have a peaceful field. You're stressed out by your job, whatever it is. The longer you go in that cycle of anxiety and lack of sleep, the harder, you know, the harder it is to circle back to it. So it's almost like you're training your body back to letting go in peace. Everybody says let go, but if everything around you is the is the message is literally to be wound up, you need to create a field of letting go, a field that's conducive. So this therapy, yeah, it's incredibly strong on what's called the limbic nervous system. It gets you to let go, unwind, and go into deep sleep states. Do you dream? Uh, do you notice uh, the dream world? Uh, any change in that using this, by the way? I've been dreaming a lot recently. I noticed that um, I would fall asleep and I would, I would wake up at, at five o'clock in the morning and then I'd probably go back to sleep until six, six thirty. And I, I, I dream every morning. I'm actually having dreams. It's kind of weird, but it's nice because they're not bad dreams. I'm not like nightmares. I just dream, you know. Right. And, you know, if anybody who's, who, I always talk about processing at the subconscious level. And when you dream, you know, your, your uh, mind kind of goes into a creative chaos, you might say. It's just pulling things up and trying to work stuff out much more at the level of chaos because really our subconscious is just a fragment of this you know it's many many impressions that hit us and and we don't really process that's what we in our dreams we kind of trying to kind of sort out all this material so that's why things will be strung together in the in the craziest of ways so the, I, I really believe this uh, PMF and grounding is almost like it's going down deep into the weed patch and and churning up very deep subconscious weeds and helping us you know it's like weeding basically it helps the mind weed out all its content that makes sense but it, it makes it makes logical sense too for me you know um going back to something that you asked me earlier um i 
early early in my diagnosis i re i understood that the body functions like an it's it's, it's re electrical and that energy was the the key to our survival so very early in my diagnosis i realized that i had to find i had to go back to the start so i was able to give up a lot of things and to research a lot of things. I realized that I had to change the diet. I realized that it would take more than just changing the diet as well. And I started to do a lot of research and that's how I found you. I called you and you answered me in the first ring. <laughs> you answered, I mean, a lot of times I would, I would try to call for help and I wouldn't get the person. But when I found you online, I called you that one day and you answered me in the first call. And we've been, this is maybe about a year ago, maybe? No well, more, probably. Yeah, and we've just been dialogue. I mean, I speak to you almost every day. And it's amazing to see the way the protocols are, have been working. And it's, and hey, look, it's a, it's a slow process. It's not overnight and it takes work. It takes discipline Andrew sometimes I'm, I'm I'm at work and I'm doing my protocols I'm doing um the imprint or I'm doing the laser you know I'm, or I'm doing whatever people come to my to my home because we practice at my home my band practices at my house and the guys ask me what's that what's this what's that my house is almost like a mini a mini clinic <laughs> it should be but yeah, everyone's you know, but I understand everyone's that, home should be. Yeah, but I understand clearly that this is this is this is what is needed to survive in the ambush that we are we are, we have now that the onslaught of EMF and the bad bad ingredients in food and everything that's been that we're bombarded with right now. I, I understand that we have to have the an antidotes in order to be able to just function. And I think that eventually, you know, eventually there will be a, 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 a full awakening on the planet where, you know, everybody realize, would come to the realization that we have to, we have to remove the mask and to get down to the nitty gritty and to realize that, you know, the body's an energetic field and we have to give it what it needs and that the body can heal itself and that prescription drugs is not the way to go or, you know i mean i it's just my this is just my honest honest belief and by the way gavin's just about to start the hydrogen therapy and if i interview you in another three months it's going to be quite we'll do an update <laughs> in three months after you've done that for three months the uh just want to br briefly point out that the PMF from the grounding is profound microcellular pump. We have videos on this. Hydrogen is a most amazing microcellular food. And it, it is probably one of the uh, recent breakthroughs in terms of rejuvenation therapy. It goes in and can heal very damaged cells. It's anti-aging. And you're gonna see in three months time, once you add that into the mix, you're gonna take a huge leap. You know, it's actually getting sick was actually a blessing in disguise for me. <laughs> if I, you know, I mean, who really says that? But it's 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 true because it, it allowed me to slow down. It allowed me to become aware and very conscious of what's happening around and and within me. It also allowed me to to get in touch with people and, and the things that that um that allow me to stop living um without a compass so no i i think i'm i live with a compass i i live i live more um more mindful I, i'm mindful that i want to go from here to there and how am i going to get there i need to do this so I, it made me realize that the body can heal itself. The mind, you can heal your mind, you can heal your, your internals. But you, you must do the things that, you must give the body the, the, the tools and the equipment 
that it needs to heal and that they are there and that people like yourself as healers are there to be to get in touch with and to open new possibilities and new avenues for for people like myself who are seeking who are seeking and who felt like we were hitting dead ends because i i know i know there's a lot of people that that probably in my shoe that are, that got sick and, and at an early age and at a, at a stage in their life where they felt that they were on you know on a cloud I mean they, you felt like you wanted to just achieve so much but in a stroke of an eye something came and just stopped you I realized that I got stopped in my tracks to remove certain things from the world from in front of my eyes and to really understand what it is and I'm, I'm very blessed to meet you Andrew and to know you and to have you as what I would consider to even be a friend, a real friend. We'll visit again as you continue to make progress. I, I want to say to my audience, my, my deepest uh, wish is to help educate and get, get people to realize, you know, there is an alternative way to, to heal, to, to develop the skills, to work on the skills. It's a lot of practice, a lot of skills and, you know, the good news is if you learn the skills and start to do the practice, you start to get results. And then you get hopefully more inspired to do, do learn more and do more your whole life. That's, that's the vision. So I really thank you, number one, for doing the work. I know you went through some twists and turns along the way. It's great to see that your, your vision is back and you're a testimonial to do the work and you get results. And um, so really, I appreciate you giving people hope. If there is a there you know if you got a diagnosis or whatever you can start doing this work it's really amazing that you're doing it and any musicians out there by the way who want to keep that creative juices flowing that crash and burn syndrome you're trying to pump up your energy you know i mean i'm not kidding uh you love music and you want to you're starting to get sick then you can have a second lease on life if you're willing to change your ways um you have to study your if you put the same passion into your own health and wellness as you did into your instrument, imagine. To say this to the general public, healing yourself and staying well takes work. So you have to be able to put in the work, but it's, when you come out of the woods, I know, I'm not, I'm not out of the woods, but I can feel me walking through the woods right now. I'm not at the beginning of the woods, I'm somewhere in, the feel coming to the other end and you're it's, correct it's, by the way a, a, i want to say this your self-observation i've been observing you from a deep almost like a buddha like mine and you're where, <laughs> saying where you're at is in my meditative awareness i mean i've been tracking where you've been at so yeah, yes, you're on very you. much on the on going towards re completing resolution that is correct and yeah. going to a much new new state of energy yeah, but sometimes, Andrew, to be honest with you, sometimes I'm around people and my mind is just on this. You know, I'm in conversations and I guess we might look at it as a 3D to the five dimension level, maybe. But I am just so focused on other things right now. The, 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 the gossip, the chitter chatter, it doesn't really, you know, I, I, I feel... Andrew, I could stay home for a whole weekend and just study hydrogen and study um, PMF and just read and read and research and research and read. And, and I'm, I'm okay. I'm, I'm, I'm not bored. And by the way, I could spend literally hours doing this type of limbic system cleaning practice I do, <laughs> depending on the day. And, you know, yeah, I, hopefully uh, once you're fully up to speed, we'll be doing some more interviews and you'll be revealing us uh, what the hydrogen's doing. And then once we learn some other practice. Yeah, I'm, I'm so excited. To, I'm so excited to start the hydrogen. I just got the machine and I'm about to start. I also want to say, I mean, if everybody varies in their degree of sensitivity. I mean, if, if you're a highly sensitive person, you're going to really want to get these practices and tell because you're going to be reacting to the environment times 10. If you're very, very stout, you know, you have a very f still, you're pretty strong. You're not going to obviously be that interested in this until you hit the wall. And nobody wants to learn this stuff until they hit the wall. 
Um, hopefully, if you right, do the wall and you're watching this video, please contact me, or you can contact Gavin uh, to get some further feedback. But understand that you can put a uh, this this uh, practice into place and start helping yourself. It's an opportunity, mm -hmm. like you said. You would never have had the opportunity to learn if you never had the challenge. Thank you for doing this interview. We'll uh, we'll update it and let our audience know how you're continuing to improve. And thank you once again for doing all this hard work. And uh, we'll talk to you next time. Okay, thank you, Andrew. And thanks for having me. And it was a pleasure to dialogue and to share my story with you and your audience. Thank you. Great. Thank you.